watching News 18 at 6. News from where you live. Uh, Purdue President Mitch Daniels is presenting a solution to what he calls a disheartening national phenomenon. He's proposing the university do something about college students not knowing pretty basic facts about the United States. The proposal would add a graduation requirement for Purdue students. News 18's Trevor Peters reports it wouldn't come in the form of more credit hours, but rather a five-minute test. A government by consent of the governed really needs informed citizens. We need to know our history. Purdue President Mitch Daniels presented his concern about a lack of civic literacy to the university senate this week. He's proposing before graduation, students be required to take a five-minute test similar to the United States naturalization exam. No reason that a boilermaker shouldn't know at least as much as as a person uh, immigrating. The test could include questions like, what are the first three words of the Constitution? What is a right guaranteed in the First Amendment? And what year was the Declaration of Independence adopted? In an ideal world, in a world we once lived in, every young person would know this by the time they left high school. For reasons we needn't get into, that's just not happening. If the university is supposedly accepting the best and the brightest, some wonder why this should be Purdue's responsibility. I'm all in favor for more civic engagement for our students. Senate member David Sanders likes the idea, but doesn't know if a multiple choice test is a good way to measure civic literacy. He says there are a lot of questions still, and he suggests it be tested at a place like Purdue University Global first. And then after a few years, see how it goes, we could be informed at Purdue University about how that has proceeded. So it's not a matter of people being bright, because our applicants and our enrollees absolutely are. It's not their fault nobody taught them when the Civil War was or uh, how many branches of government there are or what each does. Trevor Peters, News 18. Well, Daniel says he doesn't see why this couldn't be implemented right away. The idea now goes to the University Senate Steering Committee, who will assign it to a smaller group to look at. Well, if you want to test your skills, you can take a simple United States naturalization exam on WLFI.com.